Queen Chrysalis was hanging with her special sum pony when Princess Celestia said while turning to Soul Forger, who she figured out was a friend of Max's. Who are those two? I thought you knew you knew with you being the one who sent out the invitation. That is Pyromax, said Soul Searcher or Forger with a yawn. He's kind of a cousin to, of your student, your highness, one that no pony knew about until today, and that's his special sum pony, or should I say, some changeling. <laughs> oh, wait, what? asked Princess Celestia, who caught her words. Oh, I have a special magical ability that allows me to see through any creature's disguise, whether or not it's a costume or not, and I just have to look at them to see it said Soul Forger, who got her attention and offered a hoof. Here, grab my hoof and you can see as I do. I shouldn't be doing this, but I just want to drop a bomb on this whole night for a good twist. Just hold my hoof while looking straight at the mare my friend is with and you'll see. Uh, okay, what is that? asked Princess Celestia after taking the hoof and she got to see the real... Queen Chrysalis under her disguise. That is Queen Chrysalis, leader of the Aquarian Esqu Changelings, said Soulful Forger Equestrian. with a grin. Don't worry, Max knows who and what she is, so the only ones she's been deceiving are the guests, and as far as I can tell, she's just here as his date. Oh, I see. Thank you, said Princess Celestia before waiting until Queen Chrysalis is alone with Max before approaching them. She found them on one of her castle balconies enjoying some of the wedding cake. You two enjoying the festivities? Oh yes, your highness. We, is something wrong? asked Queen Chrysalis as she and her lover suddenly noticed how serious she is. No, nothing except not really a pony, are you? asked Princess Celestia, who wasn't sure if what Soul Forger had found out about her is true. How, oh, said Queen Chrysalis before spotting Soul Forger grinning at them nearby. Max, I thought I told me she wouldn't tell any pony. Well, only on... Oh, well, only on a regular day she wouldn't use her abilities selfishly, but at events, she tends to use them to pull pranks, said Max before letting out a sigh. Queen Chrysalis returned her attention to Princess Celestia as she said with a sigh, Yeah, I'm not re really a pony, but this isn't an invasion or anything. I, I really just hear as Max's date. I see, but your royalty and you being here means something, right? asked Princess Celestia as Queen Chrysalis nodded. So she turned to her guards who were nearby and turned to leave. But I hope today will be the spark of something good between our two worlds. I I agree, said Queen Chrysalis before enjoying the rest of the party. I've got to say though that this party thing is great and who knew I like sweets. There is something I keep feeling about Max. I'm feeling off his love without even trying. Wait, is he giving it freely to me? Because he is, is this what Kronika meant? Twilight was just talking with Princess Celestia when she turned to look at them and then said after running over to the two of them, breaking Queen Chrysalis' train of thought. Hi there, I'm Twilight Sparkle. Uh, hi, said Queen Chrysalis, who was surprised and confused of why this strange unicorn was shaking in her presence, even though she was still not in her true form. Hmm. Yours. Uh, uh. Oh, yes. Uh, shining arm, your shining armor's twin little sister. So I uh, guess that makes you my cousin, too said Max, who seemed to have recognized her. That was quite a wedding, don't you agree? 
Oh, yeah, but how come I never heard about you before Pyromax or her? asked Twilight, who seemed to have been told some things about them just now. I preferred just to be Max. I had been in Canterlot for a long time, but like you, I kept myself, said Max with the roll of his eyes that seemed to have upset Twilight. Yeah, I knew you were who you were before we met even just now. But as for the other how uh, nobody knew of me. I was far uh, in a far off land most of my life. It, but it was today that is full of many surprises. Before you judge any pony of being a filled with myth story and secrets twilight i need to ask you something would you defy fate and destiny or accept it i don't know said twilight who didn't expect that question it's something you should consider twilight but it will explain a lot of in time all you need to know is that right now not everything we say has to to be to happen," said Max before whispering something in his cousin's ear before leaving with Queen Chrysalis for his home to finish up the date. "I'll scold so if it for telling on you if it makes you feel any better." "No, it's fine. I enjoyed the party, and a lot of it has left me." With so much to think about, said Queen Chrysalis, before turning to Max. Look, I'm glad we met, and I'd like to continue to get to know you, Max. Same here. You're tough, but you're not afraid to show emotions, said Max with a sweet smile, which was when they arrived at his home. So what is your plan? You've met the rulers of this land, and... One of them knows about you. I don't know yet. I won't seem, see, be seen as a weak leader, but I don't want to be seen as a tyrant either, said Queen Chrysalis with a dead serious look. Do you think I can avoid it? That's not for me to say. All leaders make mistakes. You're bound to make a couple because no one is perfect. But it's learning from your mistakes that determines whether or not you are a good leader. Said Max before turning to look back towards the palace, then to Queen Chrysalis before smiling. Hey, come in a second. There is something I'm serious about. I mean, living alone in my apartment, so I'll be fine. Uh, okay, all right. What is it you want to talk about? asked Queen Chrysalis once they made it into his apartment. Can I see it? What do you try to look like? asked Max, who had just taken Queen Chrysalis by surprise and nearly left her speechless. <laughs>